your KNOE 8 News hour by hour forecast. Well, you're taking a live look at the Creeding Creed Tower Cam over Monroe this beautiful Monday evening. Clear skies are going to be the story throughout the rest of the night, and that's going to allow for our heat to escape back up into the atmosphere and our overnight temperatures to fall back into the upper 60s. Now, right now, most of us sitting in the 70s across the region, El Dorado already at 69. They're likely going to get a little bit cooler tonight because they did not quite get as warm as the rest of us today because we saw significant cloud cover up towards the northwestern corner of the region compared to those towards the Mississippi River that saw quite a bit more sunshine. But we take a zoom out, look across the region, places in Texas still sitting almost at 90 degrees and it's about 10 17 at night so that is quite warm for this time of the evening 89 degrees in midland 86 degrees over in san antonio and those warm temperatures are going to creep their way towards us here as we head into the next couple of days we have this bubble of high pressure that's forming over texas in our upper levels of the atmosphere it's creating this nice warm pocket here this is also known as a ridge where our winds start to come out of the south that's going to creep its way towards louisiana tomorrow and by the time we head towards about thursday and Friday, we're looking at widespread warm temperatures across much of the United States. You can see here where those dark reds are reaching all the way up to South Dakota and over towards Ohio. Honestly, much of the southern portion of the United States is going to be very warm as we head towards this week. And here in the Arklamis, not only are we going to be battling the heat, we're also going to be battling the humidity. We're looking at dew points in the 70s for most of us as those southerly winds bring in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So our temperatures are going to be feeling a lot warmer than what they're actually going to be reading out there. So get ready for a warm rink. Make sure we're drinking lots of water. And as we start the day off tomorrow, temperatures already near 70 degrees by about 7 a.m. We're going to be seeing off and on cloud cover throughout much of the day. Temperatures in the low 90s, clearing out with our skies overnight. And then we do it all over again on Wednesday with warmer temperatures in store again. Already in the mid 70s by about 8 a.m. Now sunshine will be the main story as we head into the rest of this week. That'll follow us into Wednesday and Thursday, the two warmest days before rain arrives for the weekend. That cold front will be moving through on Saturday, cooling us off, but also bringing showers into the forecast. Tonight, though, clear skies can be expected. Temperatures falling into the upper 60s. And then tomorrow, we're looking at highs in those low 90s. Mostly sunny conditions. Honestly, tomorrow can be a very similar day to what we saw today. And then the temperatures really ramp up as we look towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Potentially record-breaking across the region. And then we cool off for the weekend as rain returns. I know a lot of colleges have graduation this weekend, so you might want to pack the rain gear just in case for Saturday and Sunday.